Australian American photographer, 1890-1976. Australian was a very interesting photographer. Most of his artwork expressed abstract people and objects. It also showed realism in many ways. He also had a very adventurous road to being a photographer. Most of his interesting topics was the crazy rush in architecture of New York City. He was born in Manhattan, New York City on October 16, 1890. As a child, he went to the Ethical Cultural School in New York City. His first camera used was a large format camera. Also, growing up, his teacher, Alfred Seiklitz, became a person who Paul Strand studied with throughout his career. Paul Strand was very famous for his portraits. As well as silver prints, he also was famous for his sepia prints. In the spring of 1916, he started taking most of his pictures of the people in New York City. New York was a very good place to take pictures. He got many different feels of the personalities of the people in the city. After a while of taking pictures in New York City, he started to travel all over the world to experience many different things. When Paul Strand took his portraits, he often used a method to distract them. To do this, he would have a shiny brass lens to make it look like he wasn't focusing directly on them. One of his favorite topics was women. <laughs> Landscapes were also one of his favorite and most famous prints. As, supposed, as opposed to his style for very detailed pictures, he also took many simple close-up pictures. In New York City, there were many different views of buildings that pictures could be taken. When Paul Strand visited Nova Scotia, he began to take pictures of rocks and landscapes. In 1917, he started to take pictures of the abstract machine forms. Paul Strand also enjoyed to make prints of human misery and cruelty. After he took portraits in New York City, he started to travel to Mexico to take more pictures. One of his most famous prints was this church that he took in 1944. Once Paul Strand was married, he decided to go to France to take many descriptive pictures as shown. In Italy, he took pictures of humans and the life of humans. Looking at these pictures, you can tell their emotions and what their life was like. Also, in some of his most famous print, famous prints, he blurred off the background to make the subject more important in the picture. Taking pictures of crowds led European, Europeans and Americans to adapt the fact of abstract poetic approach, and after this, his, all of his time in Europe, he died in 1976.